Well, hello everybody. Hello folks. My name's Ian and this, this is my shed. It's been a week, a week of uh, give over. Elvis impersonation. Well, a week of, I'll show you, it's easier. But uh, I picked something up. I really shouldn't have done, but it was too good not to pick it up. Now, you can tell me what am I supposed to do with it. So I came across these and I thought, well, I can't leave them there. They have to come home to me, but they're too good to scrap. But I don't know what to do with them. And that is, I've picked up some aluminium or aluminium or aluminium in aluminium, aluminium sheet, sheeting. You see there's three big sheets there and there's a big big sheet there and there's another one but I couldn't get that in the car so here we're talking oh yeah, well, I don't know focus it's got to be three millimeters thick don't ask me what that is in old English money it's not quarter of an inch maybe an eighth so uh, they've had to stay outside at the moment because I, I've got nowhere to put them and speaking of nowhere to put them I need to tell you why I'm going to put it at the floor because we've made a bit of a mess again oh as my title says a couple of knobs caused me some grief uh, the knobs in question uh, are these two knobs just two simple wooden knobs no no come on what sort of knobs did you think I was talking about I'm not that type of guy Let's get back to uh, to why this caused me some grief. So, it, well, it was my neighbour, really, my neighbour. No, not he weren't the knob. No, my neighbour, and uh, I was getting in the car to go. Get over. I was getting in the car to go to work. So I'm walking up the drive, and my neighbour's coming down the drive. Graham, lovely chap, do anything for anybody. And I said, "Come on, Graham." You can at least wait till I've got work before you call around the house. And he had these couple of knobs in his hand. And I want to know, is my missus says, is anybody in this street who will have a couple of spur wooden knobs? It'll be Ian. Go round and see him before he goes work. Which he did. And I said, Graham, if I've not got it, it it's not worth having. So, you look at the grief it caused me well, before I actually go into the workshop side of it this uh, trolley with me jewel chest on it was actually just round that corner and the welding set was here and I decided well what I'm going to do because I could never close that door is I'm going to take the bottle off, secure that in that corner and I'm going to take my welding set out and I'm going to take that out and put my welding set around the corner right, so my neighbour says, have you got these couple of knobs? yes, of course I have and I come in here now I've had to take a lot of things off the floor to put my welding set under there and I thought, well, I'll find these two wooden knobs while I'm at it. So, can't see so well there. We had to take every lin bin off, because I'm sure it's in a lin bin. Uh, and it wasn't. And stack them sort of on here. And it wasn't in any of them. And I thought, oh yes, I've got a tub. Something like that, that's under there. And it has all the kitchen fittings in. It turns, turned out to be this one. So, you know, it's got all like kitchen fittings in. You know, uh, chocolate blocks and... Oh, no. No wooden knobs in there. Ah, big bag of... Cupboard hinges. 
I thought, well, I'm turning up. Yeah, they can get scrapped straight away. But it looks like I've been burgled, doesn't it? To be honest, a lot of this wasn't caused by just looking for the two knobs for Graham. I had another little task. And uh, see if I can find one. Find one. Yeah, I collect all sorts of little rods and things. You know, you, now people might recognise these out of printers. Uh, here we are, this one. Bit of threaded bar. It's actually an axle, but it's got a domed, focus on that, a domed head 10 M10 nut. I'll say M10 for a reason. So I say M10 for a reason, because there's a, there's a colleague at work came to me and he said, ah, you'll be a guy, you'll have one of these, won't you? A domed head nut. And I said, yeah, I have. I've got a, a little tub full of them. He said, uh, 10 milli. So, no problem. The only problem was I came home from work late. I'd be shower. I'd be tea. I'd be shower. Dressing going on. About to get in bed. As you know, I, I do go to bed early. I thought, ah, I've not got that uh, domed head nut. Well, if I, apart from stickers, if I make a promise, I, I, I carry it out. So downstairs, dressing gown in here, pulling out tubs and tubs and trays, and could I find one? No. Until I found that. So I take this, uh, take this note off, take it into work. Pops in in the morning, says, "You got it?" He says, "I bet you didn't look, did I?" And I said, well, "Didn't look." I said, "I've nearly wrecked my garage." I was in my dressing gown, it was freezing, man. Yes, here you are. He went, that's too big. He says, a 10 milli spanner fits it. That, that makes it an M6. And I'm like, eh. Yes, I'll have a look again for you. But not when I'm in my dressing gown. So I'm in a bit of state of turmoil here. As like I said, my idea is, I'm going to put my tool chest here, which will allow me to open and close this door. I've moved things around a little in here. I say, I put my welding set there, and it it wouldn't go under because I used to have two drawers there many many moons ago in a video uh, when I was after changing a headlight lamp daughter's car I went no problem I've got plenty of uh, bulbs is it my bulb drawer and I believe being hot some of these some of these bulbs I bet are 20 years old easily maybe even maybe even 30 years old I would have brought some of these from my last house but the idea is well I don't need a drawer full of old bulbs. Especially now that modern vehicles, they don't use them, they're all LED. <coughs> so I took the drawer out, and with the drawer out, my welding set slides under. It can actually go a little bit further back. And that's what I'm going to do, because I've got an idea. I store a bit of crap here. And I think what I'm going to do if you can see here, that is where my Euro torch will come out. If I remove, if I put a stud across here and across here, and I remove that leg, I could put a bracket on, and I can wrap my torch up and hang my torch up on that bracket. Out of the way, not going to get damaged. That's my plan. And then I can get round to doing some stripping like for example i've got a massive tub full of plugs there so that's a little task i need to do but apparently i've been doing it all wrong for years i've been using a hammer i'm just bashing the uh, the brass out bashing the brass out that's a quite a little catchy thing that isn't it 
anyway, I've been doing it all wrong. I've been using the wrong thing. I should have been using a pan. Well, I'm from Lancashire, a pan. So, I should have been using a pan. And if you don't know how to strip a plug using a pan, then go over and watch Snobby Scrap Pickers' latest video on how he strips moulded plugs with a pan. Very enlightening. Mm. No ammo work. Right, I've got a hell of a lot of tidying up to do, so I'll keep you all updated on uh, the trials and tribulations of Ian in his shelf in his shed. See you soon.